Kia ora Star Wars fans, welcome to Middle Age Kiwi Man collecting Star Wars figures. In this video I'm going to do a bit of a review of VC270 Admiral Piet from Return of the Jedi. Fantastic card, fantastic figure, new officer sculpt uh, in the vintage collection. We've been waiting for this for a long time and I'm really excited that I finally got my second one so I can open one to review. Let's take a look at the card shown the card in a previous haul video but as I said before this is the first time I've got a second one of these so I'm going to open this one you can see at the top there the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi logo which is pretty cool and this awesome image of Admiral Piat looking out across to Death Star 2 or looking back and there he is in the bubble with a red background and a little blaster pistol very significant figure as I said before because it's a new buck for the Imperial Officer, and there's a lot of officers in Star Wars, so nice to get a new mold finally. And on the back there you can see it's VC270, and comes with pictures of other figures in that wave, and the wave prior. You can see straight away this dude is wild in terms of his articulation. Here we have him in a bit of an aggressive stance, but it's the wonderful articulation that allows him to do this. Obviously, let's have a look at the blaster pistol, he comes with that and he can hold that and he's got a bit of a trigger finger there. You don't actually see Piet, Captain or Admiral with a pistol in Star Wars and there's no holster, but so it's just another accessory basically, we'll put that aside. Having a look at the face sculpt, he well, really captures those kind of sunken eyes that he's got. Really nice face sculpt. The hat looks really cool and it is removable so there you go that's what Admiral Piet looks like without his cap. The detail there on his torso so you can see he's got the 3 over 3 which most of you will know by now is the incorrect badge but consistent with what was on screen in Return of the Jedi and he has the single code sing cylinder on the side of his vest there, side of his tunic. Articulation he's got the new barbell hips He's got rocker ankles. These boots look awesome. His knee articulation is pretty good. I like the sculpting on the pants. Captures that well. This skirt is nice and pliable. It hides the barbell. But it also means you can move his leg right up to there. So he can goose step. And it looks like he can sit easily as well. Really good articulation on the arms. Some of those older officer sculpts only had swivel elbows, which you could get them into sort of like, you know, hands behind the back position, but this is a lot more versatile. And double barbell for the head. So everything you could possibly want and more from an officer sculpt. And the hat fits on really well too. Like that's not going to fall off easily. And I think it looks pretty good as well. Okay, comparison time. So there's only ever been two figures in the scale of Piet. And on the left is the Power of the Force 2 Piet from sort of like 97, 98, I want to say. And ironically, this one was called Captain Piet, because that's how he started off in the Empire Strikes Back. Look at his rank badge. He's got a real high rank badge. It's like can't even count them all. 7 over 7 or 6 over 6 or something. It makes him a really high rank so he's not a captain at all. And then Admiral Piet doesn't have an Admiral rank badge but it is accurate to Return of the Jedi as we said before and has been covered by many other sites. SWTVC did a whole podcast about that and the code cylinders. It was awesome by the way so I think it's well and truly covered. Okay and here's a lineup of Imperial officers from the 3.75 line over the years. As you can see, the proportions are a bit mixed on some of them. You got knobbly knees, you got swivel elbows, and the other thing is the inconsistency of the grey slash kind of olive drab that they've used for the colour of the tunic of the Imperial officer. So it's really nice we finally have the definitive sculpt, and the grey looks pretty good. And Moff Jorjorid is out in some countries. I haven't got it yet, but I'm looking forward to that, and I think it's consistent with this one. And as I said earlier, it's a really important sculpt to have because there's so many Imperial officers. One of the pipeline figures is Director Krennic, and I'm really looking forward to getting him in the Vintage Collection. He's been top of my 25 most wanted, or he's been in my top 25 most wanted list on every iteration of March Madness that the SWTVC guys run. 
So yeah, really looking forward to seeing him and some other Imperial officers. Anyway, if you've watched this far, I thank you so much for watching. I'm middle-aged Kiwi man collecting Star Wars figures. Kakite, and I'll see you on another video.